are invited to discover how architects, engineers, and everyday citizens are shaping the next generation of cities. The exhibition shows you how we can work together toward a carbon-free future. Well, Tim is at the Chicago Architecture Center. Hey, Tim, I got to give you props for that moonwalk earlier. Yeah. Spot on. Hey, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> it is a window of opportunity. Get the pun, a window of opportunity to see this exhibit. It's through October at least. Uh, we'll find out more about that in a second. But we're going to introduce you to Eve Feynman, who's going to tell us a little bit more about this Energy Revolution exhibit, your largest one you've had at the Chicago Architecture Center in your history. It's huge. Why are you doing this now? Well, climate change is a, an, a pressing issue. It's Absolutely. a bit of an emergency. Um, when people think about the issues with climate change, often I think they think about transportation, cars, planes, and don't realize that the built environment and architecture is the greatest culprit in terms of uh, contributing to the climate change problems, but can also be one of the biggest mitigators of climate change as well. So we looked at sort of the consumer side in the last hour. Now you're going to talk a little bit more about the actual architecture and, and windows in particular, right? So what uh, does this exhibit show us? So these are three eras of Chicago architecture from three different centuries, 19th, 20th, and 21st century. Um, we have full-scale prototypes here of three iconic Chicago buildings. This is the Monadnock building from the late 19th century. Mm -hmm. And there are things we can actually learn um, about the construction and assembly of this building from the 19th century today even. And surprisingly um, efficient for being that old, right? It's shockingly energy efficient considering how old it is. And a few things that contribute to that are the multi-layers of masonry or brick. Mm -hmm. just by their nature, they're natural insulators. Um, there are operable windows so that when you open them, you can let breezes in and out. And there's also, as you see originally in the building, were uh, operable canopies as well so that people could uh, shade their spaces in the summer. And then the next window is not quite as efficient. As a matter of fact, it's very <laughs> inefficient, right? Uh, unfortunately, these beautiful buildings that Chicago is known for right. are mid-century modern skyscrapers. This is a mock-up of a Mies van der Rohe 860, 880 North Lakeshore Drive uh, building. But the difference is here. You can see the exterior wall assembly is quite thin. There isn't any insulation. Mm -hmm. The windows are fixed. Uh, and um, the steel construction makes it a, a thermal bridge, which means you lose a lot of uh, internal heat in the winter. Okay, and then this is, is this the most efficient then, the more? Yes, so okay. this is a mock-up of a building that's under construction now. It's the Academy for Global Citizenship, which is a charter school on the southwest side, oh, okay. designed by Far Associates. Um, and here you can really see all of the insulation inside the wall, thermal break from the insulation and the exterior. Um, and you see some similar aspects of this building that you saw in the 19th century building, right. so operable windows, and a canopy that shades the sun in so the summer. So this is the most efficient. So this is the kind of thing you're going to see here at this exhibit. It's huge. And how long is the exhibit running through? So uh, the exhibit runs through the end of Open House Chicago, which is uh, Octo the weekend of October 15th and 16th. Um, the show will be free to people during that weekend, so people can come and wander through the Architecture Center and see this exhibit and all of our exhibits. And you're easy to find, right? You're at Michigan and Wacker, right. just south of the river, just east of Michigan. Right? right. Chicago Architecture Center. You can look them up online, too. What's the website real quick? It's architecture.org. We're also right across the river, right across the street from the Apple Store, which is uh, I mean, <laughs> yes, store. everyone knows the Apple Store. Right, th thanks. thanks for joining us, Steve. This, guys, this is really fascinating. It's such an important topic, too, how to mitigate climate change. It's, it's here, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. super cool. And best of all, it's in our building, more mm -hmm. or less. We can walk straight yeah. there from yes. here. Very nice. He, he gave the, the yeah. technical, the very scientific description of how to get there. She's like, across from Apple. Apple yeah. 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 That's, That's why I said, that'll do it. Yep. Landmarks is the way to put it, right? <laughs> all right, yeah. thanks, Tim.